2016, Florence has celebrated Black History Month by examining the many shades of African identity and the meaning of the diaspora around the world. Black History Month Florence expands the simplistic standard definition of black history to include perspectives outside the African American experience. The program includes a wide range of events designed to both celebrate and challenge the community in Florence and beyond. Talks, tours, art, film, workshops, theater and dance performances, music, kids activities, and foodie events are all components of the program. We spoke with the co-founder Justin Randolph Thompson about why this initiative is so important. So Black History Month Florence is uh, in its second edition, so we're in our second year. The origins of it are actually in the United States. In 1926, Carter G. Woodson, who's an educator and uh, writer, um, established Black History Week. Um, and he did so as a way of inserting into the various institutions around the United States um, the impact of African American history which had been undervalued and very uh, little examined within the institutional realm. So uh, about um, 50 years later they established it as a month um, and since then it has existed in the U.S. The idea of bringing it here to Florence is about the ways in which the context of Italy can frame blackness in a way that is much more broad and in much less about African American identity specifically and thinking more broadly about the diaspora, about the various African cultures which are present, present on this uh, continent. You know, and uh, the ways in which that context for reading blackness is completely different than that one in the U.S. Um, the idea is really about kind of creating more of a diverse view of um, African cultures and the ways in which they're seen um, to go beyond what the media wants to present as of this sort of flat discourse about um, immigration. Um, you know, uh, there's a, a speaker um, from Ottobre Africano who spoke uh, a couple days ago and he said that Africa a lot of times represents uh, war, hunger, and sickness, and he thinks it's really important to sort of expand beyond these definitions, which are very limiting. And if I would add to that, immigration, you know, in uh, in this context, and really expand beyond that and start to think about all of the different cultures that make up Africa, how diverse it really is, and then all of the diasporas that have been brought around the the world, really, that represent that same sort of root. Uh, the plans for the future, I mean, the interest in this institution, uh, in this association, is really about touching as many institutions as possible. Um, sort of the same ambitions of uh, Carter G. Woodson's Black History Week. Um, this, these are cultural elements that already exist in this landscape and need to be addressed um, and are really under-examined. So it's about really providing a moment uh, for reflection on these themes within the context of Florence and perhaps pushing people to examine more profoundly Italy's dialogue with Africa, which has existed since its very origins. Um, we're in interested in sort of doing so through all of these different institutions working together. So it's about this cross-institutional collaboration in ways that culture can trump some of the political values that institutions hold. At the same time, we're also interested in expanding beyond Florence and thinking about the more national context for this. Uh, so thinking about Black History Month Bologna, Black History Month Pisa, Black History Month Rome, and so on and so forth until the national discourse changes around this. And I think also there's room for it to expand, obviously, into Europe, but I'll start, I'll start locally to do it.